Welcome back, everybody, to the third season of The Cooling Rack, a podcast about the great Canadian baking show where we don't glaze over any of the bakes and there are absolutely no soggy bottoms allowed. My name is James. And I'm Michael. And it is time to start up again. Prep week. Prep week. We're here. It's like, <laughs> it's been such a, an exciting, fun time in this lead up to this season because for us, this has actually been going on for a very long time. Yeah. Basically, half of the year, the show has been on our minds. And I think we're going to be coming at you with I, really fun podcast episodes as we normally do, but we're also going to be coming with, you know, very fun exciting um video content on our <laughs> youtube channel and some exciting interviews and just yeah, i think like we've really we've always been fun but we like really stepped it up this year definitely i think um you know especially michael you've been on an, uh michael is now a modern woman on the go <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Entrepreneurial yes, realness. Yes, Sorry. I'd only just taken my business full time last year. And since then, yeah. um, you know, things have been going well. And we're now benefiting from a lot of the equipment that I use <laughs> in my day to day work to, right. you know, right. um, produce a, a podcast and video programming that yeah. is, you know, yeah. I think we're really proud of. Yeah. So to, to Michael's earlier point, we've been brainstorming and acting on really a lot of different ideas to continue to bring fun content, I think, to the Cooling Rack crowd. So um, stay tuned. Probably talk about it later in yeah. the show. Is yeah. that what we're thinking? Yeah, cool. sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll save Great. it. Love it. Lovely. All right. Uh, so as we always do during prep week, uh, what we like to do is we like to sort of just go over the bakers that we're meeting, our 10 fabulous bakers this season, talk a little bit about our sort of hopes maybe for the season and maybe even sort of talk about some of the changes that we've noticed already yeah. uh, even before the season has started with some yeah. changes on set. Yes, totally. Um, okay, so our first baker is Chris Koo. Mm -hmm. um, and so he is from Edmonton and he is a family physician. Mm, doctor. I believe, yeah, we've had doctors on the show before. I think we've I had believe. doctors and physicians on the show before. We've had dentists. We've had dentists, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, okay, so I almost said session. <laughs> uh, Chris's baking Chris. style is classic French with an Eastern influence, so. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, his signature baked good is choux crackling with vanilla creme diploma that's, or matcha that's super, or black sesame. Super fancy. Yeah, Jesus Those Christ. are I did not six... read that sentence before saying it, and I kept <laughs> no, going. No, you went through it, like, <laughs> it doesn't end. Really Those did. are the six bougiest <laughs> words I've come out of your mouth in quite really, some time. <laughs> really working my way through it. Yeah. And that's why I was like, it's not diplomat, it's got to be diplomat. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so, Jesus. Uh, um, with that description, I'm sort of expecting fairly high attention to detail, which makes sense if you're a physician. Yeah. Yeah. because yeah. come on right yeah. um, but also probably will really, really well practiced techniques which could carry him quite far in the season yeah it's always nice to see people being able to do sort of more fun bakes but also really bring out those skills especially during showstoppers yeah because um, that's when they are really needed and I swear this season I will understand the difference between signature bakes technical challenges and showstoppers <laughs> well you know <laughs> When we do it's our brackets good. again, I'm just going to say, I think I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. Michael always wins. Michael always wins. Well, that's fun. So, cool. All right. Who's next? Next, we have Colin, who is from Toronto, Ontario. So, just around the corner. Local, yeah. local, uh, Baker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a marketing manager, and he describes his baking style as delicious and decorative with a flair. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, signature bake is layer cakes. So really mm. likes layer cakes. I know it sounds kind of basic, <laughs> but I love experimenting with different combinations of sponge filling, frosting, and toppings. I don't think there is anything basic about a layer cake. No. You can't go wrong with a really, really good layer cake. If you've got the skills down, you can execute something like, uh, 
it's it's great when somebody can do something that's like crazy impressive and you never before seen but nothing beats an exceptionally executed you know uh something that could be done with less skill but when it's done with a lot of skill mm -hmm. is extremely impressive yeah and driving all over toronto or going all over toronto you definitely see layer cake selling for like 45 75 110 dollars yeah. so i think there's nothing yeah. basic about a layer cake uh, i think like the first couple of weeks will just show a lot because the description right now is fairly like he likes to bake he likes to decorate and he's really good at layer cakes yeah. so i think in the first couple of weeks when you see how one performs against the variety of not cakes and just generally what type of um maybe artistic expression yeah. or what is that decorative theming uh, that comes out that could really determine how well he does so we do have to wait a little bit totally cool okay so next up we have jasmine and she's from richmond hill ontario uh she's a university student she's actually a criminology student so, so good for her mm -hmm. Nancy um, Drew. her yeah figure it out <laughs> uh her baking style tall and bright that's that's interesting like I don't think I've ever heard anybody say my style is tall. Yeah. You so, know? so it just, I guess that implies like, like height. Yeah, always. like everything. Like, like even if it's a donut, it's going to be like a long donut that yeah. is stood on its tip. So that so it's I was high. watching the new <laughs> like British yeah. Bake Off, the new season of that. And um, I can't remember. Oh God, they were making some sort of, um, I know, it was a cake. And the sponge, so many people had these flat sponges. So from her, I'm always expecting height, whether it's in like the verticality of something she's doing mm. or like the sponge better be, you know, better, it better be spongy with height and like bounce, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm expecting if you say tall and bright and also, you know, bright colors. Got so it. Uh, signature baked good is death by chocolate cake that she makes annually for her brother's birthday. Hmm. Um, it's seven layers of brownie and Brooklyn blackout sponge filled with chocolate ganache and chocolate buttercream. That is death by chocolate. That is death by chocolate. How do you feel about death by chocolate? I frankly really like death by chocolate cakes. I only can eat so much of it, yeah. obviously, yeah. but I really do. I think chocolate is an, an incredibly um, like textured and variable substance like I think there are many different types of chocolates there's many ways you can treat chocolate and it comes out differently yeah so I really enjoy well-made death by chocolate cakes because there is that variety to the point where you don't it's like surprising that it's all chocolate for most people yeah I fully agree I think the other thing too is that um the uh, uh different flavors that you can bring out are good but like you said I can't I can only have so much Definitely. I, I I like chocolate but Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a there is a point when rich is too rich, mm -hmm. when rich becomes the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> um, she also says no raisins and butter tarts, which puts her higher up in my book because Colin also said that. Well, I'm just saying I noticed it right now. And, and what I, about Chris? Let's go back. Raisins, raisins soaked, soaked in rum. But okay, are, so okay, well, like you know, like, ideally not baked either, so I can just get drunk off yeah why not i i do want to point this out and i don't know if this is like a cbc fun thing mm -hmm. but everyone has said right now is baking an art on a science and everyone's like it's an art and a science it's an art and a science i'd have to say it's a combination of art and a science <laughs> it's a very canadian thing to do yes yes it's both why not both GIF. Um, okay, so next up. We have Jay. Jay is from Cantley, Quebec, and he is a government trade officer. Mm, serving up trade. Um, <laughs> and, his, <laughs> and his baking style is elegant European. She's real elegant. European. Classy, classy, sexy, elegness. This album was so <laughs> haphazardly thrown together, we didn't even have time to spell check it. And then with the signature baked good, which is chocolate salted caramel cake. Um, and I'm quite happy about that. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about salted caramel things? I'm fine with them. I really like the first bit, but I find when it goes on like salt is something that I find is like really mm. starts to um like grate on me over time yeah. so if the salted caramel cake is a little bit 
cool, mm -hmm. but if it's a, a lot of it, yeah. you know, then then I would just start to be like, oh, it's such a chore yeah. to eat this. But that's just my personal preference. So I will say, I like salted caramels like in the form of actual caramel like candy. So for mm -hmm. example, like Rogers out west, they do a really good salted caramel, uh, which I, we get for Christmas here. But when you translate that onto other things, like a cookie or a cake, that's when I get a little bit more um, sort of like maybe not as confident in my affinity to it. Yeah. Because like with the caramels, you get the chewiness and the salt really helps. But when it's cake or it's like a different texture, like a cake that's just sort of soft and it doesn't really have that much caramel in it and it's just spongy. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. So it really depends on how it's done, obviously. But I do find more variation in how much I like it when it's not the actual candy itself. Yeah. 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 Uh, interestingly, uh, his husband calls raisins Satan's fruit, <laughs> uh, which is pretty accurate. I, okay, yeah, which uh, in a few weeks, people will also find out why James doesn't like raisins. Um, <laughs> I like raisins. I, I think they're fun. I don't like, I don't understand the point of raisins. So for me, it's like cran dried cranberries, I understand because cranberries are pretty tart already. So you sugar them up a little bit, you dry them out, they go into oatmeal or porridge, like it's really good. Mm. I, for me, raisins are always like, but grapes are so much better. So why would you eat raisins? Mm, that's interesting. I I like grapes certain times, mm -hmm. but I, I I almost always consistently like a raisin. You and I are not the same. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> no, we are not. Mm -mm. Okay, so next up is Jody, and she is from Regina. Uh, occupation is table games dealer. Whoa. Mm -hmm. so does that mean like, like, Poker sets. I think it's like mind. blackjack, poker, that sort of thing. Dang, that is. Wait. Oh, oh. Do you? I would like in my mind. I'm like thinking, a card dealer. Yeah, yeah. In my mind, I was thinking that like she's like a distributor and she goes oh, around selling. She could also be that. Like, that's what I thought first. I was like, oh yeah, like you know, she like probably travels around. But no, that that also makes sense. She's probably oh yeah, like she's a, like a driving, around, around around Canada. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> got this platinum. Yeah, exactly. That's card what, game uh, set. That's what I'm thinking. That could but, be like but, so. She's a table games dealer, yeah. very cool. Okay, so her baking style is rustic, experimental, and homey. Mm -hmm. Although, I feel like rustic and homey can sometimes be the same. Yeah. I mean, I think- I, I think now when you say homey, people are like, oh, that obviously is like, like a cabin-ish sort of feeling, right? Which is kind of like rustic-y. Okay. What What are you thinking? Like, I, uh, when I think, yeah, rustic and homey, it, it kind of is like, it, it says like classic, you know? And when I think homey, I think classically comfortable. And when I think rustic, mm -hmm. I think kind of classically like worn in, but still <laughs> they like seem the same to me. Same Got enough. It. Same Got enough. It. Got it. Um, but experimental at the same time, which is really nice. Um, I think being able to try different flavors, I assume, bring in different aspects that are um, less done, I guess, if you're like, oh, I just studied French, you yeah. know, then there's standard ways of doing it. I think with, with, with bakers who are rustic, we always have a challenge where rustic can sometimes border on, not border on, but I think for the judges, it's a little difficult. Um, rustic may be like, oh, I'm just not going to like crimp the edges of my pie the same way, you know, as like someone who's baking for, you know, more like specific or delicate. So mm -hmm. I think the judges always should be like, oh, they taste really good, but you, know, you sort of just pinch the edges where somebody, you know, you know, took like a star print thing and made it look like a galaxy or something. But I think the experimental nature may actually help elevate that a little bit and, yeah. and help sort of distinguish it yeah. from just being rustic. So that'll be a very interesting uh, stream of progress, I think. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and her signature baked good is cinnamon butter. Yes! Yes, I have never seen someone say that. Ugh, and look at this. She makes them fairly often. They flood the house with the most incredible aroma, which is so true. Mm -hmm. And she always gets a big hug because they smell them cooking. Her kids love them. That's so cute. She's got it right. Cinnamon buns, the Swedish people have it right. Cinnamon buns are like the best. They are the, especially, because she's from Regina. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold there. It's snowy there. There is nothing like hot, fresh, out of the oven cinnamon buns in the middle of winter with coffee. That is like the best thing in the world. Do your cinnamon buns need icing? No, they do not need icing. Do you like icing? Not, no. 
I don't because I really? feel no because I feel like it turns it into like a dessert. Yeah, like like Cinnabon. I can't stand Cinnabon. <laughs> I really like Cinnabon. I can't stand Cinnabon. I really like Cinnabon. Like, I, don't, I don't mind icing. Like, I'm not like, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's just like, I prefer it without icing. Like, yeah. I prefer it actually maybe with a little bit of, um, like, even if it's just a bit of coarse sugar on the top to give it crunch, I really prefer that. For me, it's more like, I guess it depends on the, the, the cinnamon buns, but like, uh, as long as they're moist, if there's not the, the um, if there's not icing on top, as long as it's moist. I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> you want to dry cinnamon? Well, like, have have you ever had like? Okay, because I guess that's the thing. If it's hot and fresh, that it's gonna be yeah. moist and whatever, right? But if you ever like had maybe like a day old cinnamon bun and you put mm. icing on the top and yeah. heat it up, yeah. it brings it back to life. Right. And if you don't put it on, it's like yeah. she's done. It's, yeah, I know it's yeah. too dry. So, you're right. You're right. Um, I only like a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the look of Jodi. I think I think like what she says here is is good. What do you think of her butter tarts response? <laughs> she says if it's for herself, she'll definitely put raisins in her butter tarts. Mm -hmm. But if it's for her kids, she won't because they're just gonna pick them out anyway. Um, I think what this says to me is that uh, kids are innocent and salt of the earth and make the right decisions in life. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that she seems sensible. Yes. Like knowing yeah. when, and I wonder if that's gonna you know. Yeah. Um, uh, play through the the whole season. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look. Cool. Cool. Um, next up, we have Liam, who's from Revelstoke, BC. He is a journalist or a journalist. I wonder what kind of journalist he is. Uh, maybe an outdoors. Yeah, clearly. journalist. Um, and his baking style is experimental and woodsy, which makes me think of baking with pine needles. I don't yes, know why that's yes, like, yes, like, yes, that's yes, like yes. it's right. It's like, what can one do with pine needles? I actually think that's what matcha actually is. Or there's like pine needles in matcha. Anyway. I feel like he, he, from the little snippet we get in the video, yeah. and then from what we're reading here, it's like, I'm kind of thinking he's somebody who'd be like, Oh yeah, like I've used dried cricket paste in like my like baking before. I will say this: um, in the snippet we saw of him, it, he's been casted as like the woodsman. Yeah. So even if you're not um, Liam, that's sort of the the angle that's been taken. I will say this: he says he bakes mostly on campfires. Anyone who can bake with fire is really skilled. Yes. I think. Yes. Um, I don't know what the output is though of the baking, but I know some people who bake in a wood oven stove and like the ability to bake a pie in that and be able to control the heat and, and understand that yeah. requires a lot of skill and patience. I always think of uh, the Great British Bake Off season nine mm -hmm. last season and um, spoilers for the very final episode in terms of what they bake, not in terms of who's there, but um, they have to do non bread but oh, they're yeah, like yeah, but then yeah. they're like oh yeah everybody out of the tent you're gonna bake it over fire outside and none of them have ever done it over fire some yeah. of them have been none before but it was one of those things where i was like why are you doing this in your last fucking episode because they all turn out like shit <laughs> and then the judges had to be like well this one was okay meanwhile they're also being like they're so talented and they are talented bakers yeah, but yeah, like yeah. don't so if he can do that, very good marks on him. So, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. um, his signature bake uh, good is a potato sourdough bread, which I'm all on board for. I love mm. potato bread. Tristan likes potato bread. Potato bread for the win. Uh, I'm not going to take a second read of his butter tart response because it's offended me. We're still not done on his favorite baked good. What's his favorite um, baked good? So he says that uh, he makes that sourdough bread every week, and it's a process that takes a few days. First. He has, he's named his sourdough <laughs> starter Petunia, so work to that. Uh, and then, yeah, he lets, he lets Petunia rest in the fridge overnight, and then warms her back up on the counter, and then finally bakes it. So, That's, interesting. Uh... That's great. I also like that his response is that 
he says that for him, baking is more of an art because he's better at art than he is at science. I like a person who knows their strengths yeah. and plays to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and then his butter tart response, which has disgusted James, is that he likes raisins in his butter tarts. I know that can be sacrilege to some people, James, but I like the little textures and I think raisins got a bad rap. It's grapes. Who doesn't like grapes? Just dried! But the whole point is that they're dried and points, therefore no longer points, grapes. Points, they are now raisins. Points. That is the part that offended me. Who doesn't like grapes just dried? Grapes are eaten because they have moisture in them and <laughs> they're fruit. I I wow. like raisins. Wow. Okay, so okay, so next okay, sun made. <laughs> That's what uh, you should dress up for as Halloween this year. A raisin? No, sun made. Oh, the woman ooh, with, the, yeah. with the handkerchief yeah, 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 and the, yeah, the yeah, kerchief yeah. and the no, big totally. basket of grapes. I, I love that. But Poisoning children all over the globe with raisins. <laughs> Jay, I, I did not know that James had such a strong feeling towards raisins, mm -hmm. but apparently he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Mary Lou. Oh, her last name is Snow. Cute. You don't know John Snow. Yeah, Mary Lou Snow. <laughs> um, Snow knows. Uh, she knows. Okay, she's from Conception Bay South. I didn't know that there was a North and a South Conception mm -hmm. Bay. Learn something every day. Or maybe... It, it could be like a, like an east and a south, or a west and a south, right? It could be. Like how there's West Virginia and then just Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Being funny. Okay, her occupation. She's a college physiotherapy instructor. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, and her baking style is refined Newfoundland nan. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like I it. Like, I like the refined as opposed to all the unrefined <laughs> Newfoundland nans out I, there. I love that she's kind of being like, well, I'm refined. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, yeah, cool. Signature baked good is croissants um, because when I sent some express to her son in Montreal, the people at his work said they were better than they could buy in Montreal. Oh, wow. 10 points to... Uh, Gryffindor? Well, yes. <laughs> and Mary Lou for, like, expressing croissants to her children. My, par I, my parents live in Scarborough, and they don't express anything to me. Yeah, my parents don't bake. Although, actually, my mom did make, a, a like, a pie... Um, it, it was a chocolatey thing. It was very good, actually, mm -hmm, for, mm -hmm. like... And she's... Like, we were not a dessert family. We were not raised as a dessert family. Oh, okay. So now she's picked it up because uh, my brother's wife loves dessert, and my mom started baking a bit, and mm -hmm. she's doing it. But she's never expressed me a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's interesting that they're better than anyone could buy in Montreal, though. Yeah, seriously. Actually, maybe that's Could you imagine if, like, all of his coworkers... surprising actually. Could you mm -hmm. imagine, though, if all yeah. of his coworkers were like, I just moved here, and, like, they didn't know, like, all any of the good all, places? Yeah. They're all Anglophone transplants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. We won't stoke that fire. No. Um, in terms of butter tarts, I love butter tarts with raisins. She says definitely it gives a different texture to it. That's fine because she sends croissants to people. So do you think that she's going to do well or do you think her, her butter tart responses made you think no? I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna choose not to comment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Natalia. Um, Natalia from Edmonton. She is an administrative assistant, and her baking style is exquisite Eastern European, not to e be confused e with elegant European, Ooh, which is Jay's. Yes. Um, signature baked good is a honey cake. I love honey cake. I've never had a honey cake. I really I don't like think I've honey ever cake. had one. Um, and uh, yeah, you should try it. And then um, the the answer to butter tarts is no raisins. So I'm on board. I'm she totally also unborn. thinks it's more art than science. Yeah, I think it's more art. Baking? I think baking is more art. I think I think even science itself has a lot of art. As a, as a person who took a lot of chemistry, the process is a science. But overall, being able to do titrations <laughs> appropriately, there's an art to it. So I, 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 you're giving me this look right now. No, I'm not. I'm, I, I was just reading. No, I, I get, I get what you're saying. Um, so I think, uh, there's something there. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Honey cake. I've never had one, but. Also cooking sour with honey is difficult. Sour cream frosting. I do sour find cooking cream. with honey difficult as yeah. well. So uh -huh. I think there's, 
there's something there. Sour cream frosting. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, she's only been in Canada for three years, she said. And um, uh, that, like, a lot of her baking is still inspired from, from where she originally came from, which I believe is the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. Oh, yeah. There's another. Okay. Wow. We've been missing, like, a paragraph at the bottom every single time. It's fine. <laughs> it's good. We're all good. There's plenty more to come. Don't worry, everyone. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I think that, like, she seems really really good I think um, the the fact that she's so recently moved from Europe mm. I think she's gonna maybe have been exposed to stuff that other people here haven't mm, been or point. nearly as much mm. and I think the stuff that she might find in bakeries there again would be different so even if she hasn't baked it herself she's probably got a I'd say maybe a wider range of, of knowledge mm -hmm. around some of that stuff. It sounds like she also specializes in bread. Yeah. And that's really interesting um, because bread does have, bread can be fickle. Um, and bread week is always an interesting week for everybody. Yeah. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Cool. So next up is Andrea and she is from Comox, BC. Um, do you know where that is? Mm, I think it's like north, like just north, of, like if you go north of Vancouver, I think, I think, I could be wrong. I'm just curious. I know there's like a Comox Valley. And she's a barista. Her baking style is rainbow sparkles. And you know, even from the little snippet that we get of her, she's got really funky dyed hair. She's got like some blue, she's got some green. I think she had some purple and some red. Like she's yeah. like all of the colors and um, she has kids. And I think that that's like, kind of shining through like mm -hmm. in, a, in a good way um so signature baked goods are macarons yeah and um she said they're her most sought after by her family and friends and they love seeing what she comes up with yeah macarons you know come in many different flavors different colors so not surprised that folks are curious about the diversity that she can create as she experiments yeah cool and um she also thinks that baking is more of an art than mm -hmm. a science. She absolutely hates science, she said. She's not a science person at all. Well, if you're baking, you are already doing science, everyone. So that you're is still true. good at science. I know, but she's probably classical science. You know? <laughs> classical like, science. Like, she didn't, you know, if you go to like grade 11 science class and you're like, oh, well, I bake, they're not going to be like, oh, cool, you passed. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. That would actually be a really fun like classes like baking and science. Yeah, I think know? that, yeah. That yeah. would be high school's dead on it. Yeah. So, okay, butter tarts, no raisins. She likes pecans. I like, I also like pecans. I, I enjoy them more. As they say in England, pecans. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> um, yeah, she seems good. I, I think her kind of personality and with what we can kind of see with the like flair of hair color is, is um, I think she's going to be an interesting baker. Mm -hmm. I think she could produce some really, really cool and crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I wonder, like, yeah, if if it'll always all work out. I feel like she's going to be one of the most experimental people, and I feel like one time she might have, like, an experiment gone wrong. Yeah, I know. Like, running out of time, or the colors that were supposed to stay separate didn't, and yeah. it's just brown. Yeah, but yeah. I still think that it's going to be exciting to give her a watch. Mm -hmm. cool. Definitely. And then I think last, last, but not least, we have Betty. Betty from Vancouver, British Columbia, um, retired executive assistant. Um, her baking style is sophisticated French, which comes Ooh. from the time that she lived in France and she discovered the magic of patisserie. Signature <sighs> baked good is a creme caramel. Can't go wrong with a good creme caramel. Um, she is, <laughs> all of her answers are like, like, you know, to the point. Yeah, she's a retired EA. It's like, you, you gotta get it tight, yeah, concise. Yeah, um, uh, but she's put raising, she, put, she puts raisins in everything, apparently. So, I guess you don't like her. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she yeah. seems fun. I think, so, her and then Jay, I guess, are the two oldest people in the show. Not necessarily that they're even that old. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think she seems fun. She seems fun. I think I think for folks focused in French is is like 
you're good at patisseries, you're good at tarts. Yeah. How are you going to handle cookies, biscuits, you know? Is she going to be the new Linda? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. We'll How are you going to handle Canada it. Week? That sort of thing. There's just different different styles. Yeah, although there wasn't or Canada Western. Week last year, was or there? Or like even, yeah, I guess you could do French for International Week, but that would seem like a cop-out if you did International Week, you just did yeah. French. Uh, that's the thing, is like the weeks aren't always the same. The same and like no. we don't know what it's going to be. Um, so I don't know, there might not be. But there's usually like a country themed week, yeah. no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's it for all of the bakers on this season of the Great Canadian Baking Show. Um, Again, these are initial impressions just based on what we're seeing here. Uh, first episode isn't actually out, and this is just our prep week, so we will be back with the full rundown mm -hmm. every week, the whole time through the show. But the other thing is that this season we have two new hosts and a new judge. Mm -hmm. So uh, Bruno is back, uh, but in place of Rochelle, we now have Kyla, and uh, we actually got to go on set this season. Yes. And it was a lot of fun. So much it fun. It was really, really great. Yeah. Like, it was really terrific. Mm -hmm. And we got to meet Bruno and Kyla, and they're both so great. And Kyla, who we hadn't had any exposure to on TV before, it was just so lovely and yeah. really great. And, and um, we actually have interviews that you can stay tuned because there's some like fun tidbits and you'll get a really good behind the scenes kind of feel for the judges. Mm -hmm. um, we also have, like I mentioned, two new hosts mm -hmm. and they are Aurora and Carolyn from Baroness Von Sketch. Mm -hmm. And they were so funny. We also got to meet well. them. Yeah. We also got to meet them uh, during the, our set visit. And oh my God, so funny. I mean, I love Baroness Von Sketch. Same here. So. And it if you haven't great. seen it, you can watch it. Yeah. It's on CBC. It's on CBC Jam. It's also on Netflix. Netflix so you yeah. can watch it wherever you so want. So there's no and, excuse. So yeah. even if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I don't like the CBC. There's nothing on the CBC. Watch it on Netflix. Okay. Just watch it. It's so good. It's yeah. so funny. Um, yeah. So anyway, give that uh, Baroness a watch. And um, also, as I mentioned, we have an interview with them as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap things up here for now for our prep week. And then you can listen to those two interviews because there's lots of fun, exciting little tidbits that uh, you can kind of, you know, get you excited for when week one hits next week. Um, this season, mm -hmm. we are also doing something fun. Something fun. And something, something exciting. New, <laughs> something borrowed and something blue. Yeah. Um, we are doing a video series that will tie in somewhat as best as we can as best as we can you know we're having fun with it but it's basically on youtube please check it out it's called cooling rack taste test and we are going to different bakeries around toronto and we are trying out baked goods that we've seen on the show before um or even have just heard about and haven't really had and, and trying things out or you know trying to tie it in with themes of the week and yeah. everything so i think that it's going to be really fun and we had a great time shooting it yes uh that was where james was talking we, we had something with raisins in it earlier today while we were filming one and and uh <laughs> i learned that james does not like raisins and then we proceeded to have every baker <laughs> tell us whether they like raisins or not raisins <laughs> yeah so um anyway please check that out that's on youtube you can expect a few of those episodes throughout the season they're not going to be every single week for the whole season because mm -hmm. it is a lot to produce all of that video but um yeah check it out let us know what you think check out the bakeries that we also yes, highlight definitely because there, there's some really great stuff mm -hmm. um, i would say if you like mukbang videos um completely unprofessional relatively uninformed opinions on things i would watch it <laughs> oh yeah. yeah 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 our uninformed palettes have uninformed opinions and it makes for a grand old time yeah it's a good time um so i guess with that we'll yeah. leave it there um you can follow us on twitter at gcbs podcast you can follow us on instagram also at gcbs podcast and uh you can find us on facebook we don't really use it <laughs> but you can find us there as the cooling rack a podcast about the great canadian baking show you can also go to our website coolingrackpodcast.com and uh yeah, check it out. Tell your friends. Leave a review. Let us know what you think. 
what you think of the new show. We're going to do baking brackets. Um, oh, that was the other craziest thing that we forgot to mention was that Colin, who's on the show this season, has been a fan of our podcast since like I the know, beginning. I know. That so was, it took that a while was so crazy when, we, that, when yeah. we realized that um, when they announced all of the bakers and I was like, oh my, what? Because I saw them tag him and I was like, wait, that's the same Colin that's like interacted with us after we have new episodes. So anyway, very cool. Uh, and yeah, we're super excited. It's just going to be a, a fun new season. Definitely looking forward to it. All right. So uh, stick around for the interviews. We're going to have the one with... Um, Bruno and Kyla first, and then we're going to have the interview with uh, Aurora and Carolyn. So we will see you next week, and until then, bye. Ciao. So hello, everyone. This Hi. is Michael and James here, and we're on set of The Great Canadian Baking Show, Season 3, and we are here with uh, the judges, Bruno and Kyla. Good morning. Hello, hello. Um, all right, so, uh, you know, we've been doing the show for, I guess it's our third season now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, Bruno, how do you find it as being on the third season compared to when you first started? Uh, so, it's more fun for me. I think this year I came with, uh, you know, because everybody's new, people will expect, oh, it's going to be harder for you, more stressful. I'm like, no, you know, it's first season. I'm grateful. So, I came uh, with an open mind, open heart, but, and definitely very relaxed. Uh, I did a lot of training on camera before coming, um, so it's fun. Extremely fun for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Kyla, you're new this season, so how did you get involved with the show and how did you get brought on to become a judge? Oh, well, and, and that is some of the mystery. I mean, I, I, have, <laughs> you know, I, I feel so new with all of you guys. Um, I have um, a long history. I come from, I'm a third generation pastry cook. Mm -hmm. So, and I had a, a cafe and a production kitchen here in Toronto. Um, so I've had a company for the past 16 years. I've been baking in the industry for more than 30 years. So, you know, hopefully I come by it on honestly. Um, and um, um, I've had some uh, a lot of fun on Stephen and Chris as their um, pastry expert yeah. um, while the show was on the air. And uh, to be invited to come on board is, is really a dream come true. Like it's, I, I don't know how else to say it. It's the sometimes, most fun I've ever had. Sometimes it just happens. You know, people ask it's me, how just, do you end up on the show? Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I got three years ago, I got called for an audition. I show up to the audition. My first reaction was, what a waste of time because it was like 30 people un inter being interviewed. They were all mm. hipsters, tattooed. Right. I mean, the, and I'm like, you know. Is there an age gap? Is that what you're trying <laughs> to say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I felt like out of, uh, yeah, out of, uh, you know. And I'm like, no way they're going to pick me. No way, you know. And then look, my double chin made it, you know. No. So, <laughs> so, no one, I think I've it was your French so, charm. So, so, I think that was that. the. So sometimes it's it. just, you know, when I make. Uh, Kyla a few months back mm -hmm. I felt right away a natural connection mm -hmm. um, you know it's been easy for me you know regardless if he was new host a new judge it's been flawless it's been a lot of fun I think uh, having Aurora and Caroline with a stand-up oh. comedian uh, background yeah. makes it I mean yeah. It's it's like every moment is hilarious. Yeah, the only thing amazing. the only thing I feel like I have to do because everyone is so intelligent on this show and mm -hmm. and you know and some of the the puns that people come up with I feel like that's if anything I need to work on my yeah. ability to use yeah. language in a way. <laughs> the the uh, expectations like, the is very expectations high. are very yeah. high on this program. Uh, so um, yeah, clever. it's been an amazing experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. I yeah. hope it continues for many years this yeah. way. Uh, yeah. It's very natural. And, it's easy. I mean, you know, even episode one, you would have expect, expected uh, Kyla to be nervous and no, she's like riding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a pro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she did tell me she was nervous. I didn't <laughs> felt it. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, we do a lot of training beforehand. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. But I, I think when we are picked for certain reasons, it's the ability to connect with others, with strangers, and I think, I think this year we've done well. We, but we also, I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but we bring, although we come from pastry, and we're both pa both pastry chefs, mm -hmm. apparently I can't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one around here. <laughs> uh, but we bring very different backgrounds. Yeah. You know, you have a very strong hotel background, and I come from, um, you know, it, it, and, and you have a very, a much more international background than me, I think, in your training. Whereas I, you know, I've had a cafe here in Toronto. I own a production kitchen, and it's a different, um, it's a different approach. But the outcome is the same, and I think that's what makes yeah, our conversations. I interesting. think it's mutual respect. Uh, 
<laughs> Raptors parade is happening yeah. today. That's how you know it's live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think mutual respect. We, uh, we will never, uh, we discuss a lot, you know, we plan a lot. Right. And, you know, baking or cooking, it's always based on subjectivity. It's like politics, you know, who's right, who's wrong. Uh, besides, if, right. you, if you burn it. <laughs> so we never go into, uh, you know, and we make it a point that it's not about our own personal, what we like. Um, we really separate, you know, there is a few things I don't like in pastry, personally, but that's just mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. And so it does not interfere with our ability to judge. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we're both the same. Uh, you know, we have some um, a matter of opinion on taste, right. but, uh, you know, I felt it was a bit too dry. She's like, no, I think it was right. But that's, <laughs> you know, we, we're not going to argue over. But, yeah. but for the most part, I mean, the bake speaks for itself, yeah. Yeah. right? And, and yeah. you can tell. <laughs> and there's a lot of times where, and even because I'm a new judge, you know, that I'll taste something and I'm thinking in my head, hmm. I would like to have this more moist. Yeah. And then you will say, oh, do you find this a bit dry? And I'm like, okay, yes. Mm, you know, so yeah. so it's nice to work with somebody who has experience and somebody who has so much experience in the yeah. industry. I, I, you know, I, I think really there is very low ego. You know, chef mm -hmm. can be very, um, have a lot of egos. Um, <laughs> they haven't raised the tent yet. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we um, you know, it's, it's about respect. Uh, that's where it starts for me. And uh, which makes my life easier because I don't need to fight for battles that yeah. means nothing yeah. so yeah I think it's tough well, and, and but even with Aurora and Caroline I mean they're so passionate about baking and so engaged you mm -hmm. know and then clever and witty at the same time <coughs> so it's, it's really just I mean the energy in the tent yeah. is it's contagious but at the end of the day when everybody's having fun <coughs> it's easy yeah, yeah, it makes it, I'm, I'm sure, just like and we a, get to an easy process. I was going to say, yeah. you get to taste everything. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. absolutely. Um, so how do you balance giving feedback and then also not coming off too harsh towards the, the bakers? Not necessarily that, that nervous, you are, but yeah. especially right? in, like in the first couple of weeks, you know, um, especially if it's a baker who ends up going home in the first couple of weeks. So you want them to keep baking after the fact. <laughs> so we, we do a lot of... Um, um, speech to them we speak often you know we we say you know it's not because you go home first that uh, means you're a bad baker so we empower them we say you know it's a, it's, a, it's a great space and time for you to be here uh, your worst enemy is not the other bakers it's yourself mm -hmm. you know people mm -hmm. uh, limit themselves on their abilities we um, you know we have we show them a lot of respect i mean it's a big commitment in time and energy and uh, being away from families or jobs. I mean, you have to recognize it's not easy. And um, sometimes it is what it is, you know, it's, if it's bad, it's bad. Um, it's, but we don't demean, demean we, not in a demeaning way. Well, and, and also <coughs> too, it's, it's when it's bad, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. It's just the bake, yeah. you know? And, and they've asked us a few times, well, how can you know? How can you know? And we say, well, because we've done the mistakes. You know, all the mistakes, yeah, you know, and that's the, the, I think the advantage of years of experience is that, you know, you try things and some work and some don't and some historical recipes translate into a modern approach and some mm -hmm. really should stay true to mm. who they are or what they are. And yeah. I think, but we talk about trust a lot. And, and the biggest thing is getting the bakers to trust themselves right. and, and say, so you know, you know, if it's done, you know, if it's not done yeah. or, you know, if you're running at a time. Absolutely. And then yeah. we explain the reason. And uh, sometimes they're amazed we can see the mistake and know how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, how did you know that yeah. I put like this a, instead of that? So, like, like on the technical, uh, so we don't know who does what. You know? yeah, That's yeah, very blind yeah. mm -hmm. tasting. Yeah. But we know when we, tr we look at it and taste, we know right away where they stumble. And we explain as we taste, we can see that Baker didn't spend enough time. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. whipping the eggs and it shows and they are like, you can see their face. Oh yeah, the minute the minute you go, oh, did you, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but yeah. did you do this? And yeah. you just see their whole, like, as we're saying it, their face drops yeah. and you're just like, oh, there we go. You can probably start to, place, it's you like, can start to place where somebody is because it's like, oh, yeah. this person's squirming in their chair right now. Yeah. I know this you is yours. <laughs> you, you know, because you guys have seen so, the last few episodes, you know. So because of this, they, they feel like we are professional and we know what we're talking about mm -hmm. it's not like you know uh, showing off our uh, skills mm -hmm. right. um, you know they do a lot of research on, on us mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure they google mm -hmm. a lot of things <clears throat> um, but uh, and, and because we explain if they fail we explain why and we give them a tip how to recover for next time mm -hmm. yeah I think that's really important you know mm -hmm. for the bakers and for the viewing audience yeah. too because uh, like hopefully we can substantiate our opinion it's not just I don't like how you made yeah. It's like, well, this went wrong, but if you did this, you would have a whole different outcome. Yeah. So. And 
So with some of that yeah. experience, that, well, you bring a lot of experience. Um, when you see the bakers come in, do you have a knack for who may win? Bruno, you've been here for three seasons <coughs> now. Um, you know, or? Sometimes, uh, this year it's harder. Mm -hmm. I think this year it's very... Uh, the same playing field for mm -hmm. everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, we are down to a few bakers now and we still don't know. I think last year was a bit more uh, present. Mm -hmm. You know, you could see this year there have been some roller coasters. Some came very mm -hmm. strong and kind of slow down and stumble. Some were, you know, smooth average and, you know, but we want them. You know, the middle one, we say, look, say, look you know, yeah. as the crowd gets smaller, you know, you cannot hide anymore. You have yeah. to start to show. To, to show what you got mm -hmm. and uh, the one who are too strong I say look you know it's not that easy because you can feel a bit of cockiness sometimes you know mm -hmm. if it's one or two star <laughs> baker comes yeah. in the next right. week right. and they're right. having a coffee and everyone's <laughs> running around <I'm> like, hey. <laughs> but but I think um, uh, one thing that for me was a learn that I didn't really know and well the one thing that really blows my mind is it's in real time mm -hmm. yeah. and there are things that even I who I think I can control time when I'm baking and I'm like wow the fact that you actually got this done in two hours or an hour and a half or four hours whatever we give you blows my mind because there are things that they're we're really pushing them on that yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah absolutely but um, and then the other the other thing um, I had another train of thought I lost um, <coughs> about about the bakers and their skills what were you just saying about um, Does so, anyone surprise you? Some, yeah, some I mean, some, like uh, some. I'm yeah. like, where did you learn that? Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, every season I'm being there. Uh, some bakers, I'm like, wow. You know, even for me, it's difficult to do it. You know, I work in a professional kitchen, so mm -hmm. if I cannot do it myself, I just delegate to somebody. Yeah. You don't yes. have the luxury here. Yes, right, <coughs> exactly. You know? yeah, and, yeah. And I uh, tend to hire people who are better than me. To do those tasks, <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. to be smart. Exactly. Yeah, well, you know. Absolutely. And here you don't. It's not your kitchen, and yeah. somehow they made it. I mean, in three seasons, I've never seen one baker not finishing a technical. You know, and I'm like, you know, I always go back to the mochi technical last year. Yeah, yeah. When we decided to do it, I'm like, guys, this is a bad idea. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I've done, I made mochi. I took a class to make mochi, and it was messy. And you know, uh, and, but they made it. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. I did remember my yes, point yes, because right. as, as a new judge, I didn't realize that it's each bake is its own bake. So if you were star baker last week, that doesn't necessarily add to, you know, it's not compounded. Each, yes. each yeah. episode yeah. is its own episode. And I yeah. think that's really important because, you know, you want to go back and go, oh, but this week they did this and that was good and I feel bad. No, it's about that bake in that moment. And I think that's really close to real life in yeah. the professional world. Yeah. You know, you're uh, only uh, as good as your last bake, yeah. right? And right. sometimes the viewers forget about that. You know, mm -hmm. so, oh, he's been four times star baker. He yeah. should have won. I'm like, no, because no, what yeah. they've done that the week before moment. doesn't count. Yeah. There is not a tally of points. Yeah. You it's know. your ticket to next week yeah. and yeah. then it's a clean and that's slate it. again. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. which you know, it's. I think that's a really interesting. So, because um, I've seen it last year with uh, Megan, you know, she was very popular. Yeah. I got stopped in the street and got given a hard time by a viewer. Really? Yeah, they felt she should have won, and that was totally unfair. She out. was like a star baker, I think, four times or maybe five, for yeah, that matter. Yeah, yeah. And they say, you know, she should have won, and there was a bias against her. I know because you like Andre because he spoke. I said, please, no. <laughs> you know, I tested it. You know, Andre was flawless. In yeah, the final. Andre was. I mean, from home, we yeah. could like see. It was, yeah, yeah. It was even Amazing. too yeah. good, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but she, we don't let go, and she was mad at me, and you know. And I, I, I appreciate the passion. This was the person on the street, not yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just yeah. to keep but, it off. Yes. No, yeah. Megan's a super. We love you, yeah. Megan. Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan. Megan. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it shows you the passionate viewer, yeah. you know. And uh, but I get it. I can understand why Megan was so popular, you know. And um, you know, visually was beautiful, mm -hmm. very exciting. She has a great personality. Um, but uh, for me, it comes down to taste and taste. Viewers cannot feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? And flavor is yeah. so critical in baking. And you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So last question here mm -hmm. for you. So what advice would you give to bakers who might want to audition for next year? Be yourself, trust yourself. Um, yeah, I have a good story why you bake and how you bake. And who knows, you know, you might be um, chosen. Mm -hmm. And study, practice. <laughs> the best way to become the best baker is just to practice and love what you do. Yeah. You can tell if somebody doesn't love it, you yeah, know, yeah. when they love the process, you know. Yeah. But but um, yeah, I think when it when it comes right down to it, it's there's these technicals are 
really there for a reason. They're tough, right? And if you come into it and you don't know, like we say in cooking, our small sauces and baking, you know, if you don't know how to just bake the basics or or how to apply your skills to another recipe, you're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's... And I, I, you know, I, we told the bakers, doesn't matter who goes home first yeah. or last. You know, it's just have a great time, yeah. just to be here. You're a winner already, mm-hmm. and you know, it's about the experience you gain. You have, you're not gonna get it next year. You know, it's, it's <clears throat> that moment given to you is so unique. Yeah, mm-hmm. enjoy it. You know, right? Yeah, and uh, right because n- next year you won't be back, so you're after. So it's so unique, even for me. You know, uh, you know, I come so excited and then you get a rush of emotion and when yeah. the show wrapped up I got a bit depressed for like two weeks oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. because you don't know what to do you know I'm a, I'm a busy <laughs> guy <laughs> well, it is it is like yeah. I keep yeah. saying it's like it's surreal like yeah. it's I mean yeah. it's idyllic like it's so yeah. beautiful, it's beautiful the environment in the middle yeah. of the city right? in the middle yeah. of the city and then the energy in the tent is this like it's like calm chaos. I don't know how to how to. No, for you it should it. be like a, a like a soccer game. You know, you come. You guys should come in here yeah, every day <laughs> and say, "And here we have, yeah, and this is oven yeah. is not working." Hey, we oh, love to play by play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're 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 gonna be there. like, "Oh, Kyla's cringing. What does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, sitting in the um, where all the monitors are in like video uh-huh. village sort of thing, that was really amazing. Seeing the dynamicism, the amount oh, of activity yeah. going on, and honestly, the crunch time that you are all put under. It's fascinating. I mean, like you said, the, the like timing is so crazy. Mm-hmm. You, you, I mean, you watch it on TV, but like when you actually, it is like a totally different appreciation for it because yeah. there is an actual stop clock that yeah. starts the yeah. minute they start. And like you're, you're watching and they're doing it like, mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's it's great. So props to the bakers and the crew for yeah. capturing it all in such a short amount of time, right? And Perfect. Thank, right. You. thank, thank you so much. much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Both Love both you both. all. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Hi everyone. So it's Michael and James here again, Hello. and this time we're here with hosts of the Great Canadian Baking Show, Carolyn and Aurora. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, this is super exciting. Like we're big fans of Baroness Von Sketch and we're super excited that you guys are the hosts of season three. Um, So were you guys, uh, were you both viewers before becoming hosts? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And did you have any particular favorites in the previous seasons? Oh, um, I get very food focused. So I'm usually (laughs) like, it's my favorite, like it's the, it's the, the favorite uh, week. Like anytime it's pie week, I'm very I'm right. very happy. I really liked Vendana from yeah. season one. I was really invested in her yes. journey. She didn't win though, right? It was Sabrina who won, I think. Sabrina mm-hmm. won. Yeah, yeah, Sabrina won. Yeah, 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 Sabrina won. But it was close. And yeah. what was the older woman's name? Linda. We Linda. Were just- oh, I love Linda. Linda. Do you have the con- contestants on? Or? Yeah, we do yeah, have some yeah, of them. Yeah. And when yeah. Linda's, uh, what was it, her moose fell? Yeah. Yes. Oh, and, and you just knew. It's over, Linda. <laughs> yeah. It's over. It's done. Yeah. Because you can, you can endure that earlier on in the competition, but yeah. not, not in the semi. Uh, no, yeah. not in the finals. Yes, that was that was yeah. Great. Have you yeah, like we, were, we were super into it. Yeah. Have you done uh, this like on location podcast before? Is the first time you come no, to the tent? No, first, first time, time you come to the here. tent. Yeah, oh last year they they reached out to us about it, but I was away for like most of the summer. So, what? Yeah, it didn't. Where'd you go? I went to Maine for for four months. Oh, I, really? I, yeah, oh, I quit my job. I uh, like <laughs> helped my grandma write her memoirs, and then what? yeah, it was a whole big. Yeah, there's a book. I had to. Yeah, I made the whole time. Yeah, it was. I was just hanging around in Toronto. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. So. Um, okay. So. Yeah. Particular favorites from season one. That's. What about mm-hmm. season two? Any. any... Mm, that was when it had Andre, Andre right? Who was, you know, yeah, who everyone knew was like, yeah, yeah this is. Yeah. He was really good. So it was. It was. It was. It's like okay, you're great. You mm-hmm. know. Um, yeah. No. I mean, he was. He was really good. Um, it was Megan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh God. I know, Sorry, it's been a while. I know. Also, I'm so invested in these. <laughs> and these guys, I know. I just wanted to talk about that. Any, and I can't say any of the names uh-huh. right uh-huh. now. So, yes. yeah. I know. Yeah. And I wish, I wish we could, but maybe hopefully we'll Can we talk in code yeah. about, about any of them? Or? Person X or, I don't know. <laughs> in general well, terms, yeah. <laughs> so what surprised you the most about being on this show? Maybe that's a good jumping off point. Being on the show. Being on the show. I did not see it coming at all. I mean, what you see is what you get. Like, it's it is beautiful. Yes. It is delicious. The tent's bigger than I thought it yes, was. Yes, that's true. Like walking yeah, yeah. in, it was like, ah, oh, this yeah, is huge. Yeah. Oh, cool. um, especially when there's fewer and fewer bakers yeah. and like it spreads yeah. out. You're like, oh gosh, like we could have a party. Party in here, in here yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, did anything surprise me? The, sh the, uh, how I thought I had a great capacity to eat, but I very swiftly get full and then sugar overloaded. Um, so I thought I would be up to the task of eating everything every day. Yeah. And I'm just not. We pretty much do though. We, we yeah, we make that day. mistake every single episode where it's like, oh, I'll just, you know, whatever. And, and I like, go back for seconds and thirds, like I'll sample something and yeah. if it's good, yeah. you know, yeah. like I don't have the ability to stop. Like we literally, we're telling <laughs> someone true. over there, like they practically put out a trough for us that <laughs> one of the, no, there was one, no, there was one it was a, a, they had to make a component. Cake. Oh God, yeah. it was so good. And then I there were the could, extras because they didn't need the whole thing. You know, the scraps and, yeah. and I, we'd been eating a lot. Oh, this is good keep coming back even when the camera's not on it's just like oh you need more like, do you need the bowl, bowl of scraps Let's and then we just away. ate at the bowl of scraps like it just, was yeah it was oh, that God, one that was, was so yeah it's like it's just lemony enough and just this enough that it mm. was just like i couldn't stop it was it was like christmas you know when you're just like when it's the holidays or whatever and you're just like eating all day long you're like how did my pants yeah. get so tight by the time my ears <laughs> yeah, rolls around but i know yeah no yeah, yeah. Well, we for sure will no one will say we didn't eat the food no, we ate the food. We ate, and then we take it home and wash it. I got a note. It's like, Aurora, if you lick your fingers on camera, you have to wash your hands on camera. <laughs> Don't be so ta tactile with it. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, that's the one thing we, we, like, whenever we watch, we're like, oh, I wish we could eat the food. I keep yes. saying that, like, you know, some company like Loblaws or something needs to have, like, an at home kit for each week where you can get a little sample of one of the mm. things that they're cooking. Yeah. So you can just kind of, like, yeah. take a bite that's while a you're great watching. Idea. Yes. Like, you know, yeah. How eat does a lot. Oh, they do bear yeah. alongs. How about an eat along? That's yeah. a great idea. Like, and it's the know. smells too, because like oh, yeah. you know, That'd some especially some weeks, like if they're doing like some really intense fillings or something, so like the mm -hmm. flavors are just you know, and the bread week is is you know really strong, and because I'm the first few weeks I was. I was just going, oh, it smells amazing. And I was like, Aurora, you have to try to describe it because it's impossible to describe a smell, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the oldest yeah. sense and you can't really tell, but you're like, Not it's impossible. like this and there's an edge on it. No, but it, like try, try actually to describe what a smell is. Right, you right, can. Right. Like you can tell if they've had another, if they've smelled it before, yes. you can reference that. Right. But you can't let them know. Interesting. It's like yeah. people with wine when they're like, oh, there's like chocolate in here yeah, and yeah. berries. And I was like, it I never like wine. Yeah. <laughs> to me, no, I'm the same way. Like, eh, wine. But in food, I can, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's the onion coming through and there's this. And yeah. Yeah. It's like, in, actually, the closest I've come to is, I don't know, you probably didn't watch Ratatouille because you don't have a kid. But like, uh, yeah. Never. What? No. no. It's a great movie. Sure. Um, but Patton Oswalt plays this rat who loves food. And at one point, he's trying to explain to his friend why strawberry and his particular cheese go together. And they animate the taste mm. of the two things. Mm. And it comes close to what I see in my head. You know, when you're like... Mm. Like, like beautiful-minded. Yeah. You know? Oh, right. Like yeah. Sort of a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. There's, 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 yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's like that. So I mm -hmm. wish that we could convey the smells to people and the mm. taste. Because sometimes what looks great doesn't necessarily taste great, right? Well, that's the thing. Or something works. that looks kind of whatever. Or it's like, mm, it's kind of simple, but the taste blows and you away. And sometimes we let the judges do the work. Like on yeah. the technical, when yeah. all the stuff yeah. comes up and we're sitting watching. Oh, yeah. They're going through it. If they're really <laughs> raving about something, then we're going to grab a fork and we're going to come over. If they're not, like, if it's, like, turned into a soup and it was supposed yes. to be something, I'm like, no thanks. Uh, okay. I'm not going to Or if somebody accidentally used, like, salt instead of sugar. No, you know, the judges know when yeah. something know. went wrong. They know it. They yeah. can taste it. They can see it. They can smell it. They just know. And we asked them why, and they said, well, I mean, they probably said this to you, but they're like, we've made every mistake ourselves. Well, so, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's thousands of times. So, or maybe not thousands of times, but, um, but yeah, now also we've got, we've gotten to know the judges a little bit. So we're like, it's like, hmm, are there, like, are they speaking right away? How many times do they just like the more bites they well maybe I should, you know that's giving no, away but, but the like, more bites usually they yeah like if they're it. just standing there eating somebody's thing and yeah. not talking about it it's odds usually are it probably good. tastes amazing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. they're not just like mm, I can't tell if it's bad I yeah. still can't yeah. tell if yeah, it's yeah, bad I was wondering like, and it's also bad. <laughs> great taste also by itself like sometimes they're like this tastes amazing yet you've done this and this and this which take it away you know like yeah. like the structure wasn't there mm -hmm. or blah 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 now this part amazing taste. I like when they just take a bite and they look at each other. They're mm. Just, mm. And they're just looking. <laughs> and they're like, is that good and then they, or bad? And it's yeah. like, how did you? But they're just they're really good. They're usually on the good. same page. Yeah. They're usually on the same they're page. They're very knowledgeable. It's a yeah. bit. Absolutely. It's a bit intimidating. We were saying they would make great parents. Yes. Like together. Because it's like they provide, they're a unified front. They check in you with know, each other. They check in with each other. They give good they're feedback. They're different. Consistent. But no consistent. mixed messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we would be. Yeah. Confusion. Absolutely. How do you find it engaging with the contestants? Because you sort of meet them they're yeah. new and then you can have to mm. interrupt them in one of the biggest moments of their life yes. yeah. usually <laughs> I, I find that hard sometimes like they're and I, it's like okay Carolyn go in and ask them about you know why they're 
and Steve Play is falling. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I was like, ask them what they're really not confident about. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, okay, yeah. yeah. But, but it's but it's also like there's that thing, you know, like meeting somebody just socially, you know, is the hardest way. But if you're meeting somebody in the middle of a stressful thing that they're trying to do and you're encouraging them, like it, it, it takes the pressure off getting, you know, to know them. But you're just like, okay, how are you doing? Like, you know, and sometimes mm-hmm. we've, like, sometimes we're there right when something happens mm-hmm. or something really nice. And sometimes they, you know, as the weeks go on, you know, people obviously go home but the ones who remain you get to know them better and better and they're really mm. lovely like casting you know like casting I mean casting but like the people who choose from all the mm-hmm. auditions chose wonderfully they're from yeah. all over the country they're really nice people and yeah. I mean that like in the best like they're and they have grace under pressure yes you know they really do like we can walk in at the hardest time they're never rude they're never no. like it's yeah. like even really? if they're really intense you know and they probably would prefer to be doing this on their own without yeah. seven cameras and <laughs> yeah. a bunch of people asking yeah. what are you doing but they've gotten also I think they're I think they got used to it pretty quickly yeah um because the cameras are just there mm-hmm. and we're just there and we yeah. try to you know and we're there to 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 get to know them and to give them pep talks if they need it and to mm-hmm. ask you know sometimes when somebody's doing something and you ask them a personal question it's like they'll talk more freely a little bit mm-hmm. so it's like mm-hmm. tell me about your mom you know and then we oh. hear stories and yeah. and yeah there's something to love about all of them yeah it's hard to send them home yeah i yeah. imagine we so. take I mean, turns yeah yeah, yeah. Them that, yeah. that helps so. no yeah. and now we've asked when someone's going home we don't want to know beforehand so like, we actually wait for our, the message to come through our earpiece Cause, yeah because at first we would know like yeah, they'd tell yeah. us and we'd get ready and but and then hard. you just started like avoiding eye contact with people like you know i think they say in court isn't yeah. it like a jury if if uh, the jury comes in and doesn't make eye contact with you you're guilty you're you're down you're going to jail. <laughs> you're going to jail. yeah and that's the way it is it's like it's so like when i, I know Oh. who's going home I'm like I'm not looking at them it's so I know the worse. first few weeks I did this I was like well I know but I have to so I just deliberately <laughs> just look, look at them at all everybody oh. time so that nobody could oh. but no it's not great no, it's not so great and now we wait and they're trying their best and uh people are asking I don't know if you've asked this yet but people ask what's the biggest surprise and the thing was like no finding out you know how much how they wait each challenge right. in the judging decision because you're not really privy to that when you just watch the show you hear like oh this person did this mm-hmm. but when they're having a discussion it's not cumulative it's not like well they've been great all the way through you mm-hmm. know it's like well today and yesterday they did this and like that wasn't enough just so it's just like they have to just be good all the time and mm-hmm. but how much the showstopper counts and showstopper's worth a lot yes. really yeah it showstopper's really is like, worth a lot so at least you can 50%. look and say you know if someone kills it on the showstopper and they were somewhere middle of the pack the other two they can still win star baker yeah but then we have this big philosophical debate can you be star baker if you lost it in the technical challenge like you know mm-hmm. is that yeah, yeah. Possible. tricky i know well like we always do like kind of rankings and guessing for, yeah. for every week and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's got to yeah. be really difficult when you're oh. the one actually making the, the decision well yeah and there have totally. even been times where it's like okay like we're not in we're not the judges we're like you know someone informed audience members but it's like why did you make this decision mm-hmm. because i wouldn't understand if i was watching why this person didn't come last and this person did mm-hmm. because it, but they to get the, like to get them to articulate at least for us what counts more but like there was yeah. one week, it was like, hmm, this person had this, you know, like looks wise, hmm, but the taste was here. Yeah. This looks great kind of thing. And, but you know, their use of time and stuff like that. So it came down to like, if somebody had ordered both of these and they came, <laughs> yep. would you be mad after you ate this one? Or like, would you, how would you feel if you'd paid a lot of money for this? You know, like, and so that it helps you kind of sort out. You know, because you want them all to do well, but it's like, well, if you'd sold this to somebody, like, would they be a happy customer or not? Yeah. Basically. And, and like, because I remember last season there was one where um, there was, it actually looked okay. It looked way better yep. than the others, right. but it came in last. And yes. you're like, but, but wait, what? Yeah. what? And, and then, that was the yeah. same thing. We are like, yeah. you better articulate that because people at home aren't going right. to taste yeah. it. Yeah. 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 They're Absolutely. missing a couple of senses. <laughs> so I think before Baron Espan Sketch, you both were also with Second City. Yeah. yeah. No? And yeah. So a lot of history, sketch, yes. improv. I think that yes. probably is useful in this circumstance. But I'm also totally. curious if it's, how, how is it feeling reality versus even sketch? Oh, so now that we're doing reality. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, how does it influence our reality? For the first time, <laughs> it makes my reality like get bigger surreal. every week. Yeah. Um, we were saying before that we really are our most wholesome, earnest selves mm-hmm. on this show. Like, Got you know, it. there's no dark side to there's us, no really. There's no swearing. There's no swearing. There's no... 
There's no talking about climate change. No. 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 Impending doom. But it's nice. Like, it's a nice, it's real. (laughs) We both have that side of ourselves. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We just highlight it more on on this show, the wholesome side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And we wear makeup. And we wear makeup. Far more makeup than we would in real life. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fun. I mean, I don't normally wear satiny clothes shiny colorful clothes but i enjoy it so yeah. i get to exercise that part of myself on yeah. this yeah. it really is we're just sort of we're being ourselves chatting it is improvisation it's yeah. not really you know i don't I mean, know if the sketch skill is transferable well there's the the written bits i mean like you know taking because elvira sure. kurt who does the writing and mm-hmm. she's known us from she worked on baroness as well mm-hmm. so she knows our personalities already right. so that makes like the cold opens like she writes yes yeah, so we gotta learn us. those yeah, yeah for sure um, and then the sketch yeah that does help with the cold opens because yes. we're able to sort of find our beats and we make it our own a little bit it's like this word it's like we've been dancing together for so long you know how to you know what I mean like you know when someone's going to do a certain move or how to catch them yes exactly Exactly. when they trip on their face face. no and there's some patented awesome Carolyn Taylor Mm. moments you know where you make up a new name for something just the like the chill day. box. Oh, Mushy Tushy. That's Mushy Elvira tushy. Cook. Kurt. <laughs> Elvira that was Cook. Elvira. You didn't even want to say <laughs> it, and you said it. And Elvira then when you came, when you said it, I was like, huh. But well, it, but what did it, it would it come out naturally? Yeah. But what it gives us, I think, is ability to not be thrown. It's like somebody says something, and you just learn and improv. It's like you don't have to be like, what? I don't get it. You're just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. yes, and roll with it. Yeah. That kind of stuff. And also, but also mostly with the bakers, I would say, because yeah. that's just a conversation that's also being filmed. Yeah. And um, but it's fun. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It makes it fun. For sure. Yeah. So you've kind of touched on this, and we'll wrap it up with a super quick last question here, mm-hmm. uh, just since you guys got to get back okay, on yeah, set and everything. So. Um, okay. How much baking do you get to eat on the show? Lots. Anything Do you get want. to eat every single... Yes. We could if we wanted, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we take turns who does the tasting. So on the signature bake, yes. every other week, it's one or the other of yes. us. So that person... We'll go and have the tasting while the other person isn't there. But if Aurora said, oh, make sure you take home some of so-and-so's yeah. such and such, then I definitely will. So one person tastes a little more on any given week, but yes. we really, we can you, take anything home. I think if we wanted, we could, you know, um, we can ask, but could we please, you know, and yeah. um, sometimes we, there've been some showstopper tastings where we dive in and taste it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. On yeah. camera. I don't know if they yeah. use that, but um you know, if, if somebody's been doing something that smells really good or you're excited about it, it's like, oh, oh yeah. can we have a fork? And Yeah. Yeah, but after a while, it's even so much that it, it's, you have to, I was like, Bailey, I can't have another box to take home because we still have three that <laughs> yeah, still, there's so much I still have over. somebody's cake from that thing in there. So <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but it's nice. Great. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for chatting Thank with you us. So much. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is fantastic. Let's be brief after the season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Oh my God, okay. they're coming for us. No! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ran out. <clears throat> The Cooling Rack is a Messenger Bag Media podcast. For more on how Messenger Bag Media could be your business's one-stop media shop, visit messengerbagmedia.ca.